All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol RKT, Rocket Companies, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. So RKT was in a bearish run for some time. I talked about it for quite some time every day that one of the most important points here, which is the highest point of the run, was $34 and some change. We would get to specifics. I would round it down to $34 until that time comes. But $34 is still important for the bulls. Now, way back here at the lowest dip before that run, it had reached about 1830. And I would talk about how important that point was for the bulls, for the bulls to stay away from it and for the bears to try to tear through it. Because if this stock was to break through that, it would hit newer lows. Now, the lowest point in this bearish run which lasted for almost a whole month or better said to just call it the whole month because it started here at the beginning of September and the run ended September 30th leading to October 1st and starting to go ahead and turn around. Now, the question is, could the bulls maintain that turnaround? They've been maintaining it nicely, but the 50 day moving average is catching up to them. The lowest point that was reached in this bearish run though was way down here at 1945 i mean that right there is still an important number to keep in mind to narrow it down but if it breaks through 1830 this could be on its way to newer lows and newer support levels i mean i can't see this stock going any lower uh than 1835 i believe there's a lot of investors that are actually participating in this early on and have a bullish insight of how this is going to continue to roll out i mean i've seen nothing but great things with the earnings and also when you look at the ratings here specifically on this platform it's saying buy if you do your due diligence and research you'll see that it says buy in many other places and other places are saying hold i mean i really encourage you guys to check that out but one thing too is that they just had a contract i believe anybody that wants to piggyback off of what i state a contract that actually was done with realtor.com i believe if i'm not mistaken if anybody wants to correct that or piggyback off of what i'm saying you're more than welcome to in the comments down below but i think that's what's formed this catalyst and is showing us a good sign for this company to go ahead and continue to innovate grow expand and produce profits right because revenue is good but profits are stronger than revenue your revenue can be real high but if you're not profiting, then what's the point of revenue? You're still in the same place running in circles. But revenue coming in and creating profits, obviously, you're not just moving around, you're progressing. So let's see here what the chart has to say. So the bullish run started here at around $20 and it rose up to $23.16. I said that that's a very important point to break through before this resistance level because of the fact that this is the one that will get us to the next level and newer highs and newer resistance levels. So keep that in mind. 23.16 is a very important number. It was broken through for only 30 minutes and it reached a high of 23.38. But still, I wouldn't count that because that was a very volatile moment and there was volatility throughout the day. So let's go ahead and move our support levels to their new locations and we're going to see where our resistance level falls now as well so this was very volatile up and down throughout the day and this is the peak after the recovery from falling and this is the lowest point right after this peak falling to a newer low in the day really close to the 50-day moving average and then getting to this point where it's leveled off at 2262 so let's go ahead and see here what we want to know for tomorrow let's put these at their exact locations right and our resistance is slightly above that there we go so right now we're at 2262 slightly above the 50-day moving average our 50-day moving average is 2229 very important number as long as we're above it bulls are in control the moment we fall below it the bears are in control so the tug of war is going to be interesting tomorrow the bulls need to pull through and break through resistance if they want to maintain control and continue this bullish momentum. The news was great, 
but the bulls need to continue to come in hefty and strong load up on stocks before this falls back into bearish grounds and goes into a bearish trend so 22 29 i highly recommend writing it down and keeping that in mind on what side of the chart we're in so bulls have to break through the first resistance level and that's the peak here with this volatility of falling recovering and falling again and that is 23 dollars the bulls need to break through that turn that into a support and break through newer highs from that point forward reaching newer resistance levels and newer support levels created as those resistance levels are broken through but the first resistance level that needs to be turned into a support is 23 dollars they need to test it prove it and break through newer highs and newer resistance levels and turn those into supports to continue to work their way up further away from the 50-day moving average in an upward direction so very important for this momentum to continue and the tug of war start to be on the side of the bulls and they stay in bullish territory they have to break through resistance and turn it into a support and break through from there to newer highs and newer resistance levels now on the other hand i want to emphasize how important it is to pay very close attention to how this stock reacts if it breaks through support the reason why is because if the bears accomplish this and support level is 2216 i'd write that down to keep that in mind and keep a close eye on it is the bears have accomplished to break through the 50-day moving average which gets them into bearish territory and they broke through the lowest point of the day and the first bearish support level that gets them further into bearish territory and they can start to hit newer lows because if 2216 gets broken through significantly the next support level is down here which is the lowest point before this run and that is here at 2187 you can write that down to keep that in mind and to look at it for the next couple of days or maybe even tomorrow depending on the volatility but i would focus more on 2216 see the behavior of this stock how quickly is it moving to newer lows and is it just hanging out there or is it quickly moving to newer lows and newer support levels being broken through by the bears pulling this further away from the 50-day moving average of 22.29 in a downward direction so very important to keep that in mind now if it gets broken through and the bulls reappear that was a good sign that the bulls can get back into bullish territory because they reappeared pretty close to the 50-day moving average all they need to do is cross the 50-day moving average and continue their momentum and then work their way towards the resistance level of 23 dollars so that's something to keep in mind as well and see that behavior again bulls have to break through 23 dollars to continue the momentum and if 2216 gets broken through i'd pay very close attention to how quickly this stock is hitting newer lows and is it just hanging out there or are the bulls trying to reappear if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe but don't forget to click on the bell by clicking on the bell you turn on all notifications to not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video at the end of this video there's going to be a pop-up video in that video i will be talking about the s p 500 index well in the s p 500 index i've come to realize that it rises up several points on scheduled dates well those scheduled dates are federal reserve pump dates and i go into more detail about it in the video the next one's actually tomorrow so i highly recommend checking it out if you haven't heard about it yet or it's your first time coming across a video like that i highly suggest absorbing all the information as much as you can and then check it out for yourself to see the movement and do your due diligence and research but if the s p 500 index is rising up on these dates and the charts are showing it and the dates are there that means that within the s p 500 there are 500 different ticker symbols and they're rising up with it not all of them but most of them again you have to do your research and due diligence on which ones to see for yourself but the ones that are rising up with it are rising 30 cents to three dollars per share on the scheduled dates and i know it doesn't sound like a lot but it adds up per share profits are profits and i'm just here to enlighten you guys i'm not telling anybody to buy sell or hold i'm just here to inform you guys on the great news that there's an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses so click on the video don't miss out on it 
I don't want you guys to overlook some great information that I've come to find that is an opportunity for all of us to profit as long as the Federal Reserve continues to pump the markets. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.